Welcome to the second part of my drop fleet tactics video and it's the ground domination with Shaltari. We are in the first turn. <coughs> Both sides have four victory points by scanning clusters and um, yeah, sectors occupied by Shaltari are many and in the moment PHR has all as well occupied the same amount of sectors but has much lesser troops. Yeah, um, in the end PHR has more loses of ships in the moment than Shaltari has. So it is still not clear who will win but um, at later stage, if Shaltari is um, going to reallocate their ground troops, I think it will be a bit more tending that Shaltari will win this. So we are now continuing with activation phase for turn 4. Okay, first battle group. Shaltari has a 10. And PHR has a 10, so the this is deciding. Shaltari is a 1, and PHR is a 2. So <clears throat> PHR decides that PHR is starting. Okay, now they are starting to fall from heaven. Yeah, um, the void gates just did a curse change. To next round, they will try to get into the sectors, uh, clusters, and the mothership and the opile managed to take out the very crippled Tezos cruiser and did some damage at the rear frigates. The Ajax cruiser and the Orion managed to take out the carrier of the Shaltari and did a damage on this void gate and fire and the damage on this void gate yeah so that's it till now okay next battle group <clears throat> Chaltari has a 8 Pichar 17 yeah and Chaltari for sure wants to go first yeah, and again, the Shaltari are big in killing things. The Turkish cruiser used his close action beam weapons to kill the heavy carrier from PHR. The explosion uh, killed additionally two corvettes of Shaltari. Um, the Shaltari corvettes tried to kill the Medea strike carrier, but did only do one damage. The Tezos cruiser managed to do another damage at the Void Gates and at the Mothership. Yeah, and the Tezos scanned the cluster and did another um, victory point. That's it. Next battle group is a 20 for Shantari. Mm. And a 17 for PHR. So, PHR is starting. So now, uh, PHR has only the strike carrier left. So, this strike carrier made station keeping and bombarded this military base and managed to kill one tank token. This strike carrier moved into deployment range and as well bombarded this industrial sector and managed to kill one tank token. The mothership here shoot it at the Tezos cruiser and could deal one damage. Okay, let's take the last group. It's a 11 for Shaltari and a 5 for PHR. And PHR wants to start. Okay, so the two Andromeda frigates went 
with standard orders to displays and to low orbit. That's it. The Europe frigates went between the mothership and the void gates, showed that the void gates and that the mothership did three damage to the mothership, but zero damage to the void gates. The void gates, all of them took station keeping, shot a bit around, did one damage there, and and um, yeah, that's it. They did one damage there. Then um, the carrier of Shaitari did station keeping and shot with close action at the Ajax cruiser but did no damage. So it's launcher set time. Let's see who goes first. Shaitari. Pija. Okay, it's a draw. Shaitari. Uh -huh. What's with this this? Okay, again. Shaltari has a 3 and PHR a 4. So, PHR wants Shaltari to begin. Okay, so, this carrier put two bomber on the Europe frigate and two bomber on the TSOS cruiser. The two Andromeda carrier put two bomber on the mothership and the carrier sent one fighter defense force to the mothership. Um, the strike carrier here did not manage to land any tank forces. The Shaitari just filled up their tank forces. And here, the UCM, uh, no, the PHR, managed to send another tank force in. So here will be the first close combat. Uh, this round. So let's see how the dogfight between bomber and fighter and the ground combat will be solved. Okay, so there you go. PHR managed to survive the tank attack of Shaltari and the other side is completely wiped out, both sides. So yeah, in the moment PHR is occupying one sector of the middle cluster. Now here, um, the Shaltari bombers killed one of the Europe frigates and the PJR bombers managed to gribble the mothership and now two weapons are damaged so they can be repaired. It has orbital decay, it has eight damage on him, so one health point left and then this mothership will be destroyed. Okay, so that's it. That's um, the turn four, end of turn four. And now we have just one thing left um, we can repair. But before I'm going to do this, I need to reread the rules if I can directly, directly repair the, the damage uh, that happened now. Okay, yeah, they can be repaired. So now, um, first, I will repair the ground assets. It's counting as weapon. No, it's not repaired. Then the main weapons, repaired. Now, orbital decay, not repaired. So it's going down to low orbit, and if it's not getting um repaired next round it will crash on the planet okay so that's it for repairing stuff now it's going for victory points and um, all of the factions already scanned all of the sectors on the battlefield but at this sector there is now a new critical location um, PHR has seven points to five points so PHR is getting one victory point for the critical location. So it's six to five for PHR till now. We are going to continue in turn five. Now we are at turn five. Shaltari begins with a 10. 
And PHR begins with a 10. Okay, so the disc needs to decide. Shaitari, oh, a 1. And PHR, a 4. So, PHR wants to start. Okay, so the Ajax Cruiser managed to deal one damage to this void gate, one damage to this void gate, and one damage to the Turkish Cruiser. But yeah, he could not manage to take any void gates out of the game. The Orion Cruiser uh, went near the mothership and destroyed it completely. Yeah, that's it. The Opal Frigate went forward and down to low a bit. The two Void Gates did curse change and went down to atmosphere. Yeah, so let's see the next battle group. So, Shaltari brings a 8. Pija brings a 5. So, PHR is going first again. Okay. The Europe Frigate tried to damage the Void Gates. It didn't make that, but it could put two damage tokens on the mothership. The Andromeda carriers went a bit away, but they're still in the critical location distance. Um, yeah. The Corvette tried to kill the strike area from PHR, it did one damage. The bombardment cruiser from Shatari did two damage to this industrial uh, military, but it could not deal any damage to the units stationed there. Next battle group. It's an 11 from Shatari. And it's in 17 for PHR. So, PHR wants to go first. Ah, uh, no, Shaltari wants to go first. Okay. So, the Shaltari carrier put two damage on the PHR Ajax cruiser. The PHR Tezois cruiser put three damage on the mothership, so the mothership has lost more than its half of its lives, but it gribbled and it, nothing happened, so it's still uh, a working ship. But it's getting dangerous for the last mothership of Shaltari. Okay, um, that's it, the Void Gates tried to do a bit of damage but yeah I think they, they damaged the Tesla's cruiser they did one damage on the Tesla's cruiser but that's it yeah so continue to the last battle group it's uh, the 20 for Shaltari and the 17 for PHR so PHR has his strike carrier left and Shaltari has the last mothership left. PHR is going to start anyway, but it's not really mattering. Yeah. Yeah, so this strike carrier did nothing. This strike carrier moved a bit on, bombarded here and killed one tank token of Shaltari. The mothership moved to the Opal Frigate to get the shield boost and then tried to shoot at the Ajax but the armor of the Ajax cruiser held off all the damage. So that's it. Now we are going to continue to the launcher set phase. So Shaltari, mm -hmm. PHR, okay. Shaltari is deciding and Shaltari wants that PHR goes first. So we are in turn 5. Now in this turn 
the Shaltari used their advanced redeploying of ground units. So all the stuff they pushed up and pushed up and hauled back till now went to the enemy territories. So they used the void guides to put one tank token there, two tank token there, two tank token here and two tank token there. Because the military sectors are much more points, victory points than the industrial ones. So they don't really care about industrial. If they hold all of the military, they're winning in any way. Now, those ground is, uh, tokens that moved by white gates cannot be used until next round. So there is no combat this round and they're not counting as already being there. Because of this, you need to do this before the last round. Um, yeah, then here that's the mothership and the Andromeda carrier put two bomber on them, PHR bomber. The Shaltari carrier sent out two fighter squads to defend them and sent three bombers at the TSOS cruiser to destroy it. So let's see how the dogfights are going to be. As expected, the PHR ship without any fighter support, the bombers just blew it up. Um, the mothership uh, was saved by the fighter escorts, so the fighter managed to just throw away all the PHR bombers and the bombers couldn't manage to deal any damage. Now um, Shaltari could deploy some more tanks. They deployed one here, one there, and it right here, but the defense battery shot down those tank tokens. Ah yes, I forgot to place tank tokens for PHR, so PHR is going to try there. Yeah, they can manage to put the tank token there, and then there as well. Okay, so now PJR is going to set a tank token here and a tank token there. So, but those fights will start next turn. So that's the end of turn five. Um, PHR has three ships in the critical location, Shaltari 2, at low orbit. So PHR is getting another victory point for occupying the critical location. Let's continue to the last turn. And there we will see who is going to be victorious. Last turn. Oh yeah, last turn. Huh. There we go. Shaltari takes a 20, PHR a 10, so PHR is going to start. Now, the Ajax cruiser uh, went weapons free, fired at this one and this one. The shields managed to undo all damage. The other broadside fired at the mothership and it did one damage. Wow. Huh. Yeah, that's it by the Ajax. Um, the Ajax tried something with close action, but I think as well, close action didn't do any damage. The Orion made a standard order and shot as well um, against. Um, yeah, I think it shot against the carrier and did three damages. So yeah, that's okay, that's good. And then he tried with close action weapons against the mothership, but could not do any damage. The mothership just flew this way, um, used its close action weapons and did two damage on one of the Andromeda carriers. 
So let's go on to the next battle group. Here I'm going to mention that PHR has one battle group less because the blue one, the Tezois and Calypso, is completely wiped out. Okay, Shaldari has a 11, PHR has a 5. So PHR wants to go first. Ah, okay. The Andromeda carrier moved forward to go into critical location. The Europe Fricot went forward and then shot at the mothership, did one damage. The Shaltaria carrier did station keeping, moved a bit, shot at the Ajax cruiser, did two damage. Yeah, and that's it. So continue to the next battle group. Now, this is the last battle group for PHR. So Shaltari has 10 and PHR has 17. So Shaltari is going to start and Shaltari can then directly do its last group. Uh, afterwards, after PJR was um, with their activation. So the last round is over and um, the Opal Frigate just went a bit forward, is in critical location, tried to do close action against the Andromeda but did not hit anything. Then um, the strike carriers uh, from PHR, this one bombard here and could manage to kill a tank token from Shaltari. This one bombarded there, but it could not kill the tank token. And then Shaltari again, the Turkish bombardment cruiser just made a curse change and then used its closed action weapon to cripple the Ajax cruiser and it did about 4 damage and crippling did another 2 damage and it's orbital decay so it has one health point left it's like already a dead model but it it's survived the last round with one HP left okay so now we're continuing to the last launcher set phase and ground combat and all the stuff so, let's see who is going to start. Shantari, PHR. And uh, PHR wants to start. No, wait. PHR wants that Shantari is starting. Okay, so, Grand Combat is before the launcher sets are coming. So, I'm going to do Grand Combat before I'm placing any more tank tokens if possible um, yeah but the, the carrier has already launched their bombers and fighters so the Shatari carrier launched three bombers at the Ajax cruiser and the Andromeda carriers launched two bombers at the mothership and the Shatari carrier sent two squads of fighters to defend the mothership but the it doesn't depend anyway what's happening with the fighters because yeah because the launcher sets yeah okay it depends I need to look again I think yeah the fighters and bombers are first and then afterwards they're the ground launcher sets so if the PHR bombers manage to shoot down the mothership then they maybe have a better chance that Shatari cannot place any tokens anymore in the last round okay but now it's the big ground attack so like here we're going to have ground attack here we have ground attack and there we have ground attack see you in a minute so now this is interesting if there is a fight the fight is always simulation simultan so simulation thing it's it's the, in the same time so in this case both tank tokens uh, destroyed each other. So nobody is occupying this 
military base. And here it's the same situation. Here they got wiped out each other. And there the tank token from Shaitari survived. Back here um, the one infantry token of PHR survived the tank attacks. So yeah, it's not occupied by anyone, it's contested. And again, nobody gets points. Now it's get filled up because Shatari can deploy some more tokens and um, PHR as well. PHR is going to deploy a tank token right there and uh, the void gates are trying to stop it. Let's see. Yeah, it stopped. And then PJ is going to try to let the tank token there. And oh no, wrong this again. Okay. Shaltari again managed to stop the tank token. That's not good. Okay. So Shaltari wants to place one tank token here. Let's see. Oh no, no. The defense battery shot it down. Um, so Shaltari has two tokens left. And they placed one here and one here to maximize their victory points. Okay. So that's it. That's everything that cares. Now we're not going to do anything more than just counting points. Because for this mission I chose, it's every sector is getting you points and every industrial sector is getting you two points and every military sector five points. So, before we add the points for ground domination, in space, PHR has eight points and Shatari five. So, this battle is one for PHR if you just look at the space. Now we're going to continue and look at the ground. Um, yeah, here. Shaltari is getting another 12 points. Back there, another 4, so 16 points. 10, so 26 points. Another military base, 31 points. Another industrial, 33 points. Um, this one is contested. And PHR is getting another 4 points. So in total, just let's add 4 points. And 3 points. Uh, yeah, okay, so they have 12 points in total and they have um, let's see, it's three, 30 and 8 points 12 to 30 and 8 points for Shaitari so um, in this game and in this mission Shaitari really showed their ground domination they rocked the field um, yeah so we're going to continue to our second game. And there Shaltari will use the same fleet um, as in this game, but they're going to um, fight against UCM. Okay, so I'm going to prepare the second game. See you there.